One magnificent woman in her flying machine. Amanda Harrison's day job is flying corporate jets. This, however, is her passion, a 1942 Tiger Moth, which she's going to fly to Australia. Amanda says it's now or never. In the last couple of years have been, you couldn't write it. You know, my nan dying, my dad dying of some unknown brain disease that we don't know of. And I watched this wonderful, inspirational man die before my eyes every single day. And then I was diagnosed with breast cancer in the middle of it. And, and I looked at my dad and I thought, he's, he's done things that he wanted to do. And he'd be, I know he's, he's looking down at me and I know he'd be very proud of me to actually do this. And he'd be going, yes, go for it. And this is the inspiration. In 1930, Amy Johnson became the first woman to fly from Great Britain to Australia. For Amanda, gender is of secondary importance. What matters more is that Amy, uniquely, didn't have loads of money. She sort of broke a few moulds and inspired me. And I read this about her and I thought, blimey, here's an ordinary person that did amazing things. Maybe I could do this. A tiger moth naturally needs lots of stops. Amanda will be making at least 32. Amy Johnson did it in 19 days, but she had larger fuel tanks. After 9,500 nautical miles, the odyssey ends in Darwin. For Amanda, risk is a relative concept. Absolutely, you know, I'm flying a 1942 aeroplane over mountains and seas. It is a dangerous trip. However, breast cancer would have killed me. I would have been dead if I hadn't have checked myself. I, I probably would have been dying of breast cancer as we speak. She's made out of wood and fabric. She is living her dream and keen to inspire more girls into aviation. Currently, only 6% of commercial pilots are women. So for a girl watching this, there's nothing to stop her falling. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. It is, honestly, it's, there is no magic to me. It's persistence and hard work and keeping your dream alive and never giving up. Takeoff is next month for a pilot who's honouring the past while living in the moment. Simon Viger, 5 News, Duxford.